Hi guys, today we are discuss the regular falsi method or also known as the false position uh, method. So this method is similar to the bisection uh, method. Okay, so for example, we have a function, okay, and we are required to determine the, okay, the root. So again, the same, we have to introduce an interval wherein within that interval, the root is included. So let's say at this point, okay, we have, this is B, and at this point we have uh, A, the upper and lower uh, limits of our interval. So from the bisection method, we are averaging the upper limit and lower limit. But for this one, we are just to connect the straight, uh, we, we are just to connect these two points using a straight line and look for the value of this uh, X. Alright, so what is this uh, distance from the y axis? Uh, let's say this is a b. Right? From x, uh, this is the same as x. And then this is the same as uh, a. Then we focus on these triangles. Right? For example, right, we have this uh, triangle. Right? What is the height of this triangle? The height will be f of uh, b. So the same with the bisection method, okay, what value of the function on one limit should be uh, positive while on the other, okay, the value of the function on this uh, limit should be uh, negative or vice versa. So f of b should be positive, f of a should be negative or vice versa, f of a should be positive or f of b will be uh, negative. So for this triangle, we have a height of f of b, what is the base dimension? If this is b, this is x, the base dimension is b minus uh, x. Well, for this one, we have a height of negative f of a, what is this distance? That is the same as, okay, we have the same as x minus uh, a. So by ratio and proportion of similar triangles, I can go for the value of x or we equate this one. So we have, this is negative f of a is 2, negative f of a is 2, okay, the base is x minus a is equal to, okay, on the other triangle, we have that is f of b, and its a base is the same as the b minus x, this is divided by cross uh, multiplication. So this is the same as x times f of b. Okay, negative minus a by 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 f of okay, this is f of b okay, x times f of b minus a times f of b is equal to this is negative b by 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 f of a then positive x since negative times negative by 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 f of uh, a then we okay, combine the similar terms this is the same as x f of b then transpose this is minus x f of a is not equal to we transpose this one well, this will be positive a f of b minus b f of uh, a so we factor out the value of x we have x multiplied by f of b minus f of a it is not equal to we have a f of b minus b f of a we divide it by, we divide, it, uh, we divide both sides of the equation by this value. So we will be having the equivalent of uh, x is now equal to a f of b minus b divided by the value of f of a all over. We have f of b and minus the value of f of a. So this will be the equation of the value of x. Alright, wherein this straight line intersects the x axis. We are just to repeat the process up to a point that it will intersect. Alright, that uh, this straight line will intersect uh, the root wherein. Alright, for the solution, wherein we can determine now the uh, root of the given uh, function. So let's have an example. So let's have an example. For example, we have the function f of x equal to x cubed minus 2x minus 5, and our interval will be uh, between, uh, our interval is from 2 to uh, 3. So we have uh, our initial 
a lower limit is 2. Okay, this is a 2. Upper limit is a 3. What will, what will be the equivalent of f of a? That's the same as 2 cubed. 8 minus 4 minus uh, 5. That is, we have negative 1. Then we have okay, f of b. That is 3 cubed. That is 27 minus 2 times a 3. 27 minus 6 is 21. 21 minus 5 is, I we have a 16. And then we are to input, I this value is a. What is our a? That is 2. So we have 2 times f of b. That is a 16. I minus. I what is the value of b? That is 3. Times f of a is negative 1. I divide by f of b, that is uh, 16 minus negative uh, 1. We have the value of x is uh, 2 point. We have 2.059. Uh, and then let's try this value. We will be having the value of the function approximately or equal to uh, 0. So we have 2.059 cube. This is raised to 3 minus 2 times 2.059 minus 5. So we have that value equal to a negative, this is negative 0 0.3 by 80 or 9. So what was our last negative value? Our last negative value is a negative 1, f of a. So therefore, uh, we are to replace our lower limit okay, with the value of uh, x, which is uh, a. So we are replacing 2, we are to replace it with uh, 2.059. Okay, Okay, again, negative 0.389 is closer to 0 compared to negative uh, 1. Our upper limit will uh, still we have 3. So we have f of a that is the same as the negative 0.389. Uh, f of b this is the same as uh, 16. All we have to do is I repeat the process. What is the value of a this time? That is a 2.059. The value of f of b is the same as 16. I minus the value of b is the same as 3. I multiplied by f of a. f of a this time is negative 0 0.389. This is divided by f of b, 16. I minus the negative 0 0.389. Uh, so we have the new value for the x is 2.081. Uh, so let us ask, use this value of x if we have the value of the equation of the function closer to 0. So we have 2.081 cubed. This is raised to 3. I minus 2 times 2.081. I minus a 5. So this time, again, we are going closer to 0. This is negative 0 0.15. Uh, zero. So again, what is the last negative value? This is negative 0 0.389. We have to use this one. Okay, negative 0 0.15 is given or is computed using 2.081. So therefore, we have replaced our limit, lower limit again with the value of uh, x. So this is the same as 2.081. Okay, this is the same as 3. It will okay, at 2.081. The value of the function is negative 0 0.150, closer to 0 compared to this value or the previous value. Then we have uh, x is equal to 3 or b that is the same as 16. Okay? Then we again use this equation to solve for the value of uh, x. So what is the value of a this time? We have 2.081 for the value of a. f of b is uh, the same as 16. I minus, the value of b is the same as 3. What is the value of f of a this time? We have negative 0 0.15. This is divided by f of b. We have 16 minus I the negative uh, 0 0.15. So we have the new value of x is now equal to 2.0 and 9 So I'm just I'm using three decimal places, so I uh, round up. Then, I uh, using this value, what will be the value of the function? So we have 2.090 cubed. A minus 2 times 2.090 minus a 5. That is now equal to, okay, 
Negative 0 0.0, 51. We are getting closer to uh, 0. So this value is, uh, this value is given by 2.090, closer to 0 compared to uh, 0 0.15. So we are to replace our lower limit again, or the negative side, with the value of Rx. So take note, if you are using regular policy method, the same with the bisection method, we should maintain the negative positive assigned for our uh, limits. Okay? So we are replacing A with the value of X. So we are now using 2.090, the same with the value of B as 3. At 2.090, we have negative 0 0.051. At B is equal to 3, we have the same as uh, 16. Let us compute the new value of uh, x. So this is okay, the value of a this time is 2.09. Okay, the value of b is uh, f of b is the same as 16 minus the value of b is 3. The value of f of a, the new value is negative 0 0.051 divided by f of b 16 minus f of a is negative 0 0.051. One. Right, then we have the new value of x is now equal to 2.093. Uh, so let us have the new value of the function using this one. That is 2.093 IQ. Okay, minus twice of 2.093 minus okay, minus 5. So we have this okay, negative. Uh, 0 0.1 I one seven. So again, this value is closer to zero compared to the previous. All right. So we have to replace a with the value of uh, x. So this time we have now 2.093. This is the same upper limit. So at 2.093 we have negative 0 0.17. So take note where this is going closer to a zero. This time the negative values are going closer to zero. But we are, right, for, this, for this example, we are maintaining the value of uh, f of b or the value of the function at the upper uh, limit. So we are to compute for the next value of x. This is the same as 16. Right, the value of a this time is 2.093. What is the value of f of b? That is 16. I minus the value of b is the same as 3 multiplied by f of a. The new value of f, f of a is negative 0.17. Right, this is divided by 16. Right, the f of b then minus f of a. And we have now the value of Alright, so we have the value of x is 2.090 of 4. So let us have the value of the function using the value of x, the new value of x. 2.094 raised to 3. Okay, minus 2 times... Uh, 2.094 minus 5. So this is now a very small value, negative 0.00. .00. Uh, 62. Uh, right, so negative 0 0.0062. This is a small value. Okay. If we are to continue, we are to again replace the value of our lower limit with the value of our x. So we are to stop on this iteration since right, the goal is to have the value of the function approximately equal to 0. This is approximately equal to uh, 0. So therefore, uh, we may conclude that one root of uh, one root of this uh, function, our nearest value of the root is uh, 2.0 90 uh, 4. So we may stop on this since this is a very small value close to 0. This is our example.